Hi all, it's Barb coming from a craft studio. I have a haul to share with you today. I'm trying to think where I went. Meyer, Target, Hobby Lobby, and Dollar Tree, I believe. I'm not sure I bought things at all the places, but we'll see. <laughs> I might have. At yeah, Meyer, I picked up this sketchbook. It was on clearance for five dollars and something. I thought it might be fun to like, do some stamped images in there and color them. Just kind of practice my coloring. So that was kind of my thought on that one. And then I want to get started on my planner. And I don't know where my, some of my stickers are. I have a few, but I don't have the ones I need. <laughs> to like redate the pages and I usually also part of redating for me is changing the days of the week because I like my week to start on Sunday not Monday and the happy planner always starts on Monday and I also couldn't find my um, erasable pens so they have these two sets on clearance so I bought both of them now I know I think a lot of mine were start. Were, I was getting to the point where I needed to replace them anyways, but I would have liked to have that. Now at Hobby Lobby, I found this fabric on clearance. It was marked down to $5.99. It was regularly one of those your price items, $11.99, so it doesn't usually go on sale. So clearance, I've noticed clearance on those items is usually half price. Just like name brand stuff is usually half price now. They kind of switched it. And then um, their brand, otherwise, if it doesn't have the yellow tag, it's usually 75% no clearance. But I thought these ones were pretty. Hopefully I can get do a little bit of sewing again at some point. It was hard to see all of them because of it being rolled, but I thought I liked enough of them. I'm wondering if they gave you two of each. It looks like they gave you two of each sheet, so it said there were a total of, I think it said eight of them. Eight pieces of fabric? Yeah, eight pieces. So there's four different ones, two of each. And then I hated to buy these, not on sale, but like I said, I needed the days of the week got the days of the week. I was going to just show the back, but honestly, you really can't see anything on the back. It's so small. Or maybe it's just my eyes are so bad, but I can't see back there. We went and got Hubby's glasses. His prescription really hadn't changed, but we decided we'd get him a fair pair of sunglasses and regular glasses. We went to Mark especially you get basically two pairs for the price of one. So if we could get him an extra pair for each, so we had a backup. But it's got the days of the week in a few different fonts. It's 
still days of the week. And then this one has the months as well. Or it's just months. And I think you get a few different fonts of that, and then you get numbers. So, and then just some things. There's some more days of the week back there, and some like notes and odds and ends. So, I was glad to see that. I thought if I couldn't find something, I was just going to get my labeler out and do it, but I really didn't have to do that. I'm lazy. And then at Target, the Bullseye Playground finally had some Halloween stuff. It's almost kind of fall and some Halloween. I bought this little disco type spider. They had them in pink or silver. I chose the pink one. He was a dollar. I thought he would look cute on the tear tray. And then they had these little sweater pumpkins, which I don't think I had any small ones. I have a couple of large ones. I found it in five different colors, so I bought one of each color. Number two, I forgot about that. Um, I'm going to need more than what I bought, but I wanted to see if they would before I did it. I had like the little, uh, these look smaller than my wood ones. They were the same, I ordered the same size in the metal as I did in the wood. But they're kind of like a reflective surface. Are they adhesive? Oh no, it just peels off, okay. They're like a metal surface. I was looking for something that would hold up in the weather. So I could like put, I need to do a new one for fall, like put a fall leaf on it for my welcome sign that these could be my O's. So that's why I bought those. I know I'm going to have to replace all of the ones that I've had because just, especially since we've lived here, I've noticed, um, I think it's more, it gets more, before the porch in our old house at least had like a little roof over it, this stuff we don't have anything here so it gets more of the wind and rain on it and then i really like this color of the disco pumpkin and these were a dollar a piece as well the little um sweater ones were a dollar too i thought this one would look cute in my craft room i don't know that he'll get to go out this year because i'm not going to decorate in this one i've got a few things hanging up there but that's it and then these little bottles were a dollar a piece the witch's brew. It's got the little witch hat on the lid. This one says poison, deadly nightshade, and it's got the skull on the lid. Did the, did the other one say anything else? Witch's brew hundred year formula. And then this one says vampire venom, finest quality, and it's got the little bat on the cover. On the, that's the lid. I'm tired. And then I liked these little pumpkins. They had a few different colors. I bought these two. I think there were one or two that were different and a little bit different than these. I like these shades, so I bought those two. I was like, I really don't need more pumpkins, but every year they keep coming out with cute pumpkins. And then I bought some of the potion bottles. They do new ones of these every year. And they suckered them in because they're a buck piece. This one says, Vampire Bites Use With Caution. And it's got like, I think they're like little um, sequin like, they look like drops of blood. Vampire Bites. This one says it is Bones to Breed, I think it says, to Bread. It looks like it says B-R-E-D-D, -D, but I don't know about that. Again, used with caution. This one says Cosmic Dust. And it's just got like stars and different little shapes in it. I thought there were six of them. I'm only seeing five here. Can we do some with the others? I don't know. This one says, Hoof of Old Elixir. And they look like little feathers. Oh, Hoot of Old Elixir, like owl. Hoot. <laughs> okay, I put the other one in there already. No, that's that one. That's where I had. I thought there were six of these, and I only count five now. 
all seeing eyes. And this one's got little googly eyes in there. I thought I had six, but I, there's only five here. I must, I must have just counted around at the store. Because I'm pretty sure this bag's empty now. Make, oh, nope, there is one more. There was six. I should have remembered this one. This one's Witch's Brooms, so it has little brooms in there. I thought that was cute. Some of them, they may have done similar ones in the past, but they're usually a little different every year. And then at Hobby Lobby, I bought this foam pumpkin. It's an unfinished carvable pumpkin. This do not use with a candle. Do you think? Um, I actually wanted to see. Um, hopefully it's smooth enough. I was thinking about trying to mod podge some sort of napkin on there at some point. I don't know if that'll be done this year, like I said. This year's kind of crazy. And then I wanted some, like, signs for some wreaths that I want to make, and I don't want to get to those either. So this one had stop for a spell. And I don't know if I'd use all of it or maybe just, like, use the cauldron because I know I've got that witch kit from Dollar Tree. So this might look cute with the witch. I can always save the other signs for something else and maybe use them. And I've looked at this sign, not this one, this one every year, and I've always thought about buying it. It may be a little different than the past ones, but it says the neighbors have the good candy and it's at the airplane. I know one of them's like a skeleton, but I kind of thought you, this could go on any of them. I think there's a skeleton, a mummy, a witch, and Frankenstein, so I'll have to kind of decide what... what one could go with one. Because this one's kind of witchy too. It's got the witch hat, which I, no, I wouldn't use the witch hat because I got that, but it says, welcome my pretties. And I do like that one. That one would be cute on the witch one too, but we'll see. I'll figure out which one I want to use. Some of them I might just use as just decoration. Um, and then I did buy this wreath hanger with the sunflowers. I'd been looking for the sunflower one. I don't know if it's the same as the one they had last year, but I can never find the sunflower one from last year. So, um, a couple items in here are my daughter's and a couple of mine. This one I bought, because I always keep a bottle of water by the cat's um, water bowl so I can just refill it. I don't have to run to the out of the room to get her water. So I thought I would use this one because it seals up nice and I like the Hogwarts. Things. So, and then these two are actually my daughters, the silverware and the candy bar. And then I bought the chair covers. Now I think, I'm not 100%, but I think I have this one. But I decided, you know what, I'm picking it up because if I wait until I know if I have it, they won't have it anymore if I don't. And then I know I didn't have this one, so I picked that up. Like, oh, I have a new one. It could have been out before, and I just have never seen it, because that happens a lot. Um, people will show these things, and I never see them. And then they come out with them again the next year. I find them. <laughs> so they seem new to me, even though they're not new. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I've got to share today. I should try to do a life update. I did film one, and I'm not sure if I'm leaving it in that video or if I'll edit it out. Um, we'll see. I need to get that done and this one done. But I want to thank you for joining me and I'll catch you next time.